So all of the stuff that was in projects that I finished is in here, plus anything that had been sitting in my bin thing for my makeup -y stuff. And then I went through and I put prices on everything and added it all up. So I have a year-end total for how much I used up. Um, sorry if you can hear people talking in the background. There are people outside talking to each other. Uh, so I'm just going to get into it. There is a ton of stuff in here. This is going to be a longer video, so I would grab a cup of tea or coffee, you know, like coffee. I'm using the hubby's cup. <laughs> um, yeah, you might need a snack to get through this. So, anyway. Uh, first up, we have these cotton squares. I use these for removing nail polish. I also use them for my nail clients, um, where I clean their nails. These are what I use um, in all the swatchy videos that I've been doing, where I um, swatch my nail polish collection. They're usually the ones that I use to take it off, or something like it. They come from Dazo. Pretty good value. You get two boxes. $2.80 I think it is. I have this QV skin lotion. This was the lotion that I was using for my waxing clients and I just ran out of it. The uh, disinfectant wipes, these come from Audi's. They're the force ones. I use these to clean up around my work area. The Lacura Naturals Clarifying Facial Scrub, this was in my Skin Is In project, I believe. Um, I really like this one. I like this one more than the other one, which I think is an apricot one, which I'm using at the moment, which is, this one's a finer scrubby, it's not quite as abrasive, um, so I prefer this one, so I will be rebuying this one. Also from Lacura, we have the Lacura Body Wash in Sublime Time, which was a lime citrus scent. Really like this. If I saw it again, if I saw it again, I would probably buy it. We have the I Love Lemon Sorbet Body Wash. I had two of these. I have another one in the shower, which I'm about half done with. Um, it's fine. It's not lemony enough for my liking. The Grace Coal White Nectarine and Pear Body Lotion. It's it's nice enough. It was very runny though, which I don't like. The Pineapple Passion Fruit Body Scrub from Grace Coal. Um, I didn't really like this body scrub. I like the scent. I don't like the body scrub. Um, I prefer it in just like a bath gel or something. Um, I preferred the hand cream I had of this. The Os Asano Rosehip Micellar Water. This was fine. It's pretty much like any other micellar water as far as I'm concerned. It's one of those ones that if it was on sale and it was cheaper than um, the Garnier one, I'd probably buy it. Um, the Lacura Foaming Facial Cleanser in Pink Grapefruit. This is my favourite. I have another one in the shower at the moment. Um, I really like this face wash. It doesn't make my fin skin feel tight or squeaky or anything like that, but it still feels clean. I have two of the Garnier Skin Active Eye Makeup Removers. I like them. 
Um, but at the moment I'm using the Garnier Micellar 2-in-1 that's got like the oil layer on it because that's basically the same as that. It does the same thing. The Liqueur Indulge Hand Cream. Um, Indulge is the scent. I don't know what... Um, strawberry, blueberry... Um, it was nice. Ole Foaming Face Wash. I think I have another one of these in the cupboard. It was fine. Not my favourite. Don't like it as much as I like the grapefruit one. Um, another hand cream. I have two from Five Star. I have the Shea Butter one and the Rose Garden one. The Rose Garden one obviously smells like roses. It was fine. Um, the Lacura Rice Bran and Silk Protein Hyaluronic Acid Night Cream. It was fine. It was nice. Um, yeah. I also have the Garnier Ultra Lift Complete Beauty Day Cream with SPF. Again, it was fine. Nothing spectacular. Um, face wipes. I have the La Cura Cleansing Wipes with Tea Tree Oil. They were fine. And the Real Care Cleansing Face Wipes. These are sucky. Do not like these ones at all. Colorista Bleach. Um, it's like the purple conditioner to help tone your hair. Now, the thing is, um, the Colorista temporary hair color, particularly the one in, I think it's turquoise, is not temporary. <laughs> um, that was the weird green color that I had in my hair for ages this year that I couldn't get rid of. Um, my hair was purple for my wedding, um, and because we didn't re-bleach it before we put it in, it didn't stay in very well. So that's why I have virtually no colour in my hair, is because unless they bleach it, like, right before they put colour in it, it doesn't stay in very well. Um, okay, we have some face masks. We have... Um, Two of the green tea and aloe hydrating face masks from La Cura. These were quite nice. I have the cucumber soothing one, which again was quite nice. And we have three of the hydrating face mask infused with hyaluronic acid. I loved these ones. These ones felt really, really good. Um, hence why I used three of them. If I could get them again, I would. And that from a person who doesn't really use face masks very often. Um, the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I don't really think they were that good. So, um, yeah, they'll mean they were fine. I just didn't think they were that good. Um, a bag of La Cura Makeup Rounds. I always have these in... Okay, um, some sampley things, uh, the Avon Nutri Effects, the Tea Tree Body uh, Face Mask Scrub thing from the Body Shop, uh, Time Miracle Ultimate Facelift, and the Ageless Marine Miracle Cream Facelift in a jar. They were all fine. Uh, the La Vera face cream, the um, Nutramatics day cream, I think it is, with hyaluronic acid, 
another Nutria Medics Night to Rescue Cream, and a Nutra Effects Hydration Cream. All of those were fine. Nothing special. The Nutra Medics BB Cream in light medium was orange on me. It was pretty terrible. I have all of these little Lacura serum samples. There's the Refine Serum, the Lift Serum, the Moisture Serum, and the Power Serum. There's what, five, there's like ten of those. They came out of a Lacura Advent Calendar the year before last. The Swiss Blood Orange Brightening Facial Serum. It was fine. Um, I like the smell of it because it smells like oranges. Um, the one I'm using at the moment, I think it's the Lacura one, which is a vitamin C one. It smells like oranges too. And it's orange. Lily Ann Clean Pure Fine Cleanser. The Bioderma Pore Refiner. They were all just fine. I don't really find anything that just like blew my mind, I have to say. The Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. I actually really don't like this. Um, it has um, something in it which... Uh, it's got dimethicone in it. Um, so it's meant more as a barrier cream than a moisturizer, even though it says moisturizing lotion, because when you put dimethicone in something, it tends to smooth everything over and form like a barrier, but it can actually stop you from absorbing moisture. Um, and the Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser, it was fine as well. Um... I'm trying to get all of the um, skincare stuff out of here. I think that's the last of it. Uh, the Uderma E Purifying Charcoal Mask. I don't really like this, and I don't think my skin liked it much either. That was a bit too rough, quite frankly. So I have some nail polishes. I have this one from BYS, which is... Diamond, Glitter, Cobalt, and Rose. It's just gone really weird. Come on, focus. It's just gone weird. And the other one, if you've been paying attention this year, <laughs> was Jaded from the Revlon Top Speed line. Which is a terrible polish. Um, I even mixed it with another polish to try and make it decent. And it's still a terrible polish. So, that's good. Uh, I finally finished the Natio Bronzer Enhancer in Warm Day. Which had broken like ages ago and I was using it. Um, probably for like two years, but it's all gone. Um, this is the LA Colors Graphics Eyeliner in black. It basically dried up. Um, this is the lip prep from the runway room. It started to change and feel really weird, so I stopped using that. This is Anime from uh, OCC. This stunk really bad and felt like weird on my lips. I like put it on and then like took it back off again because yeah, I did not like. Uh, this is the CoverGirl True Blend, although I think it was a mix of other things as well. Um, I tried really hard to use this. I used it over and over again, and it just looked like shit on my skin. Um, and then, you know, like I wear something like this NYX one, and when I look at my skin, I don't hate the look of my skin in a mirror. With this one I did. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad that I decided in the end just to get rid of it. 
the Inika Pure Primer. This stuff costs like $63 for this little thing here. And it's not even that impressive. For $63, oops, you'd expect impressive. No, I didn't pay $63 for it. I got it from Bellabox. However, it is worth $63. Um, I decluttered this bronzing powder that was in one of my projects from uh, Kmart. It's very um, orange. Mm, yeah. And for something that only costs like a buck. Um, I finished up the Anoxa lip liner in ruby red and the lip scrub from Beauty Treats, which is on shop I say. Um, this one's a strawberry one. I don't like this very much. It's too oily. Um, pretty much everything else except for one of these is a decluster. Oh, finally got to the bottom of that huge bag. So, this is the Pineapple Passion Fruit Lip Balm from Grace Co. All gone. Uh, this is the Princess Liquid, Liquid Eyeliner. This one came from Daiso. Um, and it's dried up. This is the L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara, which I use for ages. Max Factor Double Ended Smoky Eye Effect. This is just old and doesn't work very well. Um, the More Brows from Model Co. It's basically nothing coming out of this. Yep, she is dry. Um, the L'Oreal High Intensity Pigment Coal Eyeliner. I chucked out like three of these this year because they're bloody stupid and messy and I don't like them. This is Fierce and Tangy from Colour Tattoo. It is super duper dry. I tried mixing it up um, and it just did not want to be revived. It's really, like really crumbly. So that one's going. Uh, this is the Bella Box Summer Shimmer Trio. This stuff is terrible. It really is. It doesn't blend properly. And, uh, and this is such a nice color. But they're just, they're just terrible to use. I did try using them for quite a while. They're just terrible. And lastly, we have the Age Rewind, which, no, I didn't finish it because this looks like shit on me. And I don't know why. And it shouldn't. This is in light pale. And, yeah, it looks dark under my eyes. And it just looks like shit. And, and everybody raves about it. And it just does not look good on me. So it is going as well on me. So that is everything that was in my 2018 empties for the year. So at the end of the year, I mean, I really didn't work that hard to actually use stuff up. I don't think I used as much as I did the year before. Let me just check. Um, I'll work out where it is. It's all the way back here. So, oh, actually, I did use more. Okay. Um, I didn't count how many products. Hang on a sec. So, I used less products, but more money, basically. Um, yeah, so, I, if my counting was correct, which I know what I mean, um, 189 products this year that were used or decluttered, and... A value of $1,380.74. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Um, I think that was a pretty decent. It's about $100 more than the year before. Not that I was really, like, setting a target or anything. And as I said, I really wasn't pushing it as much to use up stuff this year, although I did use a lot of samples. Um, I reduced my sample collection quite a bit, and then I got a whole bunch more of them, um, which are mostly hair ones, I think. So uh, this might be the year of hair, I don't know. Yeah, so that is it for my 2018 year end of empties. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. 
Leave me a thumbs up if you like Empty's videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.